Hello everybody and welcome to Gadget Extra. Today I'm gonna show you how to install uh, and make your Fire TV and Fire TV Stick look awesome. As you can see, it's not rooted and we can't really access all our app easily. We always have to go to application, manage, and then look for the application that we wanna install. But there is a trick. So if we go and install ES Explorer, we can sideload any apps that we want. And I have a video in the description and all of the DCS will be in the description as well. Uh, just go ahead and download and install App Store from uh, Amazon. And basically this is will allow us to see our all application in the main menu. And this is a must have. This is my first recommendation. So let's look and see if it works. Okay, so we are in apps and here we are having all the siloed apps, games and everything. All right, so let's give it a try and I recommend this next uh, application, Clean Master, which allow us to uh, control our space and manage the storage and it shows us uh, uh, how to clean the junk files and all of that. To look like I have a lot of junk files. And you know, like the Fire TV only have eight gigabytes and five of it can be used. But now I have 1.8 gigs that are useless. So uh, I can look and verify everything here and see if any of my file I wanna keep. You can use your remote to do that. And I think I'm gonna get to system cache and file ES, e, EX file explorer off and clean. All right, so I gain around 188. And if you're asking yourself, how am I using a mouse on a Fire TV stick? Uh, there is an app for that actually. Uh, on the uh, Play Store, long, look for Wong Kong. That's uh, a Chinese app. I'm sorry if I couldn't uh, say it correctly. And it's have all kind of uh, neat tricks like you can navigate with D-pad or gesture mode. And I like mouse mode, which is the ma main attraction here because it allows us to control the uh, Fire TV with a mouse. Okay, let's look for, for more files that are useless. It look like I have a lot of games here that I don't want. And let's check the ones that I need to get rid of. And let's save some more space. All right, so 1.6 gigs, it's good. Okay, uh, one more thing about this app is that you can launch any app from your Fire TV right from it. Uh, for example, I can launch the special version of XPMC that's already comes with add-ons and teams and all kind of uh, perks. Uh, it's You will find this on the description as well. As well, you can do the same thing with the Amazon uh, Fire TV remotes, which only allow uh, to use the D-pad or the gestures. The main attraction here is that it's very fluid and it's more stable because it's made by Amazon. For example, if you're trying, if you have a Dolphin browser, you're trying to type in a URL, uh, you could uh, do it with um, the app. It's much easier than doing it with the remote control. <clears throat> As well, you can play Flash-based videos and games by enabling the option in the menu. If you want to take your Fire TV stick to the next level. Gets one of these voice enables uh, remote control, which really neat. It allows you to do search by just clicking the button and saying, for example, Walking Dead, and it will look for the show. You can use the app, which is free, if you don't want to spend the money. 
As well, there is a really recommended thing and it is like the controller. It's a Bluetooth controller that's control game so you can get most out of your Fire TV stick. This game is called Intro the Dead and it's really uh, fun and a little bit scary. I hope you guys like this video and if you find it helpful and you want to see more, please subscribe. And I think there's one more thing that I want to show you. Um, if you go to settings, display and sound, look for enable display mirroring. And if your tablet supports and your phone, you can stream everything that you see on your phone to the Fire TV. I have a video in the description showing you how to do it in depth. Um, take care and see you in the next one.